because it all comes from passion. Uh, we have the passion, the fans have the passion. And yes, you know, heated argument is inevitable. Yeah, it's like every, a corner, every day. Yeah, cornucopia of pinch me moments. You've got to pick <laughs> different places and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah it, it, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. I mean, you, you're blown away by a set or an actor or a costume or, uh, you know, some creative. The Greens department on Rings is amazing. Their ability to be able to transform an already beautiful New Zealand into Middle Earth. Yeah. Uh, it is just amazing. So, yeah. yeah, there's loads of pinch me moments. Literally every day. Every day. I mean, <laughs> an amazing thing to work on. I really wanted to explore um, his past, his history, the things that have come before the young Elrond that we meet, which is, you know, his father, his mother, um, and his brother achieved incredible things you know he's an orphan me and Charles share a sort of connection to the sons of Feyenoord in this really interesting way that we got to speak about so I feel like diving into the past was a really uh, interesting place to begin. Well you start with what Tolkien has written which isn't isn't very much I mean he's Celebrimbor is mentioned in in the Lord of the Rings um, but the um, uh, Council of Elrond, Elrond mentions Celebrimbor when he's recounting the, 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 for, the tale of the forging of the Rings of Power. And Celebrimbor also made, what well, contributed to the creation of the doors of, of Durin at Moria. Other than that, um, those are the only two mentions in the Lord of the Rings that he gets. But in his appendices, um, after the, the, the further thoughts on the Second Age, which is what our show is, take from, from where, which the, the show takes its inspiration, he is sketched out a little further. Um, so you have a, a basic um, outline, but even Tolkien's versions co of him contradicted themselves, as he does, does with many other things. So there are different versions that you can, I mean, which to me is very exciting. There is not one version that you have to adhere to. Um, there is certainly, certainly scope to, in, to um, take what Tolkien implies and, and run with it a little bit. And um, so that, that's been the, 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 the very um, satisfying thing for me. really help you you know the, the visuals really help you I mean obviously you don't want to get lost in them um, but you know we've spoke a lot recently about you know Celebrimbor's workshop you know Charlie's workshop which hugely helped the scenes that me and Charlie were working on together but obviously the, the funnest thing was what Charlie was doing and responding with that and everything but the but the set itself is just breathtaking mm. um, and so detailed and to ensure that, that what you described doesn't happen, you just have a connection with your... With, like, Rob and I have a lot of scenes together. Um, and we established a very close connection with each other and, and just keeping to the truth of what you're playing. And, um, because what you forget is that, yes, there are huge set pieces, but when the camera's listening to the scene, it's, it's right here, it's on yeah. you. So while that all may be there in the background, and it certainly is, when you've got a, a, a quiet scene or a tense scene to play with another actor, that's, the camera's very much with you, so that worry didn't raise itself too much. Well, I was kind of, I used to go down the rabbit hole of Elrond years ago, before I, obviously before I knew that I would be playing him. I was always really interested in certain decisions that he makes in the Legendarium, and so I've been down those rabbit holes and they're, they're very enjoyable. Mm. I try and avoid them now, <laughs> yeah. but uh, but back. But I know how enjoyable that is to make your own decisions, and um, you know, that's what I like about Tolkien. Everyone's got a very unique perspective based on their opinion of what they've read, and one opinion can be as founded as another, and they can be completely contradicting each other. Yeah, but that's all good because yeah. uh, because it all comes from passion. Uh, we have the passion, the fans have the passion. And yes, you know, heated argument is inevitable when there's, when there's a passionate topic uh, to, to, to argue about. So, you know, it's all good. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to play Sam in The Lord of the Rings. 
when I was when I was little. I, I was I was very taken with him, and um, now maybe I'm not quite right for it, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was the one I always wanted to play. I always really liked, uh, there's, a, there's a really, there's a hero in the first stage called Belig Strongbow, who's a really wonderful character and quite a tragic things happen to him, but he's a real hero, uh, elf. Uh, I always really enjoy reading about him.